hello and welcome to the video in this video i'm going to discuss about uh, the view range how you can control the elements visibility and their display types and what are the settings required for the floor plan and the ceiling plan so view range is basically a set of horizontal planes okay that is divided into uh, primary range and the view depth okay uh, and also it is called as the visible range uh, up to which you can see the elements okay so to, there's a total visible range this is called as the view range so in the view range we have a primary range we have a view depth okay and this is divided with the different uh, horizontal planes uh, the major uh, purpose of this view range is the elements uh, visibility and how how you want to show those elements what are the line type line pattern okay line weight all those things you can control okay uh, with the help of uh, view range and another important point is this uh, view range is only for the plan views okay I, it can be a ceiling plan it can be a floor plan not for uh, section elevation 3d okay although for all those views it is not applicable how you can control the elements visible with visibility and display type so let's uh, first uh, talk about the visibility. So for example, for visibility, you have to you have to uh, be aware like where your element is lying. Okay, either it is lying between the bottom and the view depth, bottom of the cut plane or cut plane to the bottom to the top. Okay, for example, for example, uh, my uh, element or, or it can be a duct or it can be a pipe is lying in between the bottom and the view depth okay let's let's uh, I'll, I'll just open rivet to explain this okay okay so i'll go to the section and here i have a pipe which is running beyond the floor level beyond below beyond the floor level okay right now if you go to the plan view the that pipe is not visible that pipe is not visible if you see over here this pipe is not visible in the plan view what can be the uh, reason okay so uh, one of the reason can be your the view range okay i'll type vr the short key okay or else uh, you can go to this properties palette here you'll see a uh, view range click on this edit okay so as you can see here we have primary range and the view depth okay so that element is lying between the bottom and the view depth right so what i'll do i'll increase this view depth offset let's say i'll make it minus 600 because it is down i'll i'll use a uh, minus sign now it is visible now it is visible so this is how we increased increase the range of the view depth okay now for example for example you have an you have an element uh, i'll create similar i'll just draw a pipe over here okay right now the pipe is visible okay maybe the view it, it is in the view range or else if i'll make it if i make the view range up to say 2500 will the pipe visible no okay because the pipe uh, if you see the bottom 3398 right and what is our view range 2500 so if you want to see if you want to see that pipe just increase the view range let's say for example 4000 okay now it is visible so if you see in these options like for example top bottom you you'll see uh, you see associated level and all the above level associated level means the level right now which you are on okay that is what the associated level or the above level if you want to select you can select that but you have to make it as zero okay that that is also perfect okay fine okay 
now uh, this is this is about the visibility now the second thing is your display type display type means either uh, for example your your element is lying in 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 this range in between between the bottom and the view depth how you want to show that how you want to show that with with what kind of line type or uh, uh, color okay how you want to show that so this also you can change this also you can change how you have to change it go to the revit this can be changed with the beyond line style go to the manage tab here you will see additional settings and line style open this beyond so you have to remember this whatever the element which are lying beyond the bottom okay and above the view depth will show as a beyond line style right now it is showing center one and a half i want to show this with the for example say dot for example okay right. it has changed okay so by default whatever the element that you have between the bottom plane and the view depth that is the offset that will uh, act uh, that that will be shown with the beyond line style and you can change the and you can modify the properties from here okay whatever you want okay so if if it is in this range you can change with the help of uh, beyond line style if it is between the bottom and the cut plane you can change with the projection uh, projection line type okay and if it is cutting the cut cut plane you can change you can change the line type from the object style of these two let me let me uh, go to the revit okay go to the manage tab object style there are two things there are two things projection and cut plane projection and cut plane when you have to use this projection when you have to use cut if your element is lying between the bottom plane and the cut plane you have to use projection if your element is cutting the cut plane wherever it is I, okay so if your element is cutting the cut plane you have to use cut line style and this cut line style is not available for all the elements it is available for only selected elements you can see from here the elements uh, the elements which are grayed out in the cut are not applicable as cuttable elements these are non cuttable elements and which you can change the properties those are called as cuttable families or cuttable categories okay so this is what it is for a uh, floor plan you have to focus on you have to focus on these things what is the cut plane because you have you are watching it from the cut plane see you are watching it from the cut plane so cut plane bottom and the level this is for the floor plan and for the ceiling see for the ceiling view it is reversed you are watching it from the bottom and the bottom and the cut plane will be same you see it is grayed out you cannot change this this is for the ceiling plan okay and top is a priority level you have to make it as zero zero why because see view depth in the floor plan it is at the bottom but in the ceiling plan it goes at the top it goes to the top so if you want to increase this length you can change the value as per your requirement okay okay thank you